What would happen if a kid accidentally gets sent to the most dangerous levels inside of the back rooms? I'm talking about the levels with the most hostile environments, ravenous entities, and unforgiving effects that even an adult like myself would struggle with. Well, in this video, our good old pal Billy is going to explore three different deadly backrooms levels, and we'll decide if it is in fact possible for a kid to survive them. Leave a like right now if you think Billy's going to be able to survive any of them. Without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So today, I will be sending Billy, our good old pal, to level 7, level Run For Your Life, and level You Cheated. Now, these levels are obviously very dangerous, even for adults and for everybody involved. So I'm going to break down how I think Billy would do if he was sent there. The results actually might surprise you, so stick around to the end. If you missed part one of the series, I send Billy to more famous backrooms levels like level 0 and stuff. Check that out after this video if you want to. Or not. I don't really care. Starting with the easiest level on the list today is level 7. Now level 7, of course, being level Thalassophobia. This level is full of deep water, choppy waves, weird islands scattered around, and just these strange gravitational effects. Billy would start in the level where everyone else gets sent. It's a place called the Entrance Room. This room takes place above the ocean here, and it is by far the safest place. Physically, this room looks like a half-flooded area with water about halfway up the walls. The water in it is still and not moving, so it is pretty safe for anybody. Now, Billy is 11 years old, so he's not completely stupid, so he would know not to look below to the ocean and not to jump in instantly. He would look around at the surroundings inside of this room and, you know, calm down, and he would just take inventory on what's around him. The only thing that sucks about this level is that in order to escape it, you do have to leave that starting room and swim in the ocean. If Billy knew this, he would need to jump down into the choppy sea below, and he would need to swim towards the largest mountain that's visible. This mountain is visible from the start, so it's not like it's a really impossible thing to find, but the exit to it is located on the back side of the mountain in a half-submerged cave. So in order to make it out, Billy would have to tread water and swim until he makes it to that island. Now, the distance to the island from the starting room is not an official length, since no one has like a tape measure that's a mile long. But if Billy can make it just to the shore of that island, he could just rest for a while before swimming down to the cave and he wouldn't, you know, tire out. If he does make it to the beach and he rests for a little bit, he could then dive slightly underwater to see that cave and go into it. Now, the only issue with this theory is that kids and children's lungs are not as developed as adults, so they can't breathe or hold their breath as easily or as long as an adult. So Billy would have to try his hardest to hold his breath while he's swimming down to the cave and while he's paddling to the island. The good news is kids are good swimmers. You know, I remember swimming all over at age 11 myself. So I'm sure if I was in Billy's shoes, I could probably swim the half a mile to a mile to get to that island pretty easily. I'd be tired, but I could do it. I also think Billy is too small of a target for the entities on this level. For instance, the thing on level 7 typically swims too deep in order to attack a small target like Billy, and Tiny, the other entity, I don't even think Tiny would notice Billy. So do I think Billy could survive level 7 after jumping in the water, swimming to the island, and finding that cave? Yes, I actually do think that Billy could beat this level. It's not infested with entities, the environment is really the only danger that you have to worry about, and maybe staying afloat. But if Billy was an avid, decent swimmer, I think he could make it. Moving on to a much more dangerous level is level Run For Your Life. This level, of course, being the famous red hallway that looks like a hospital. In order to complete this level, you need to run as fast as you can to get to the end of the hallway where there is an exit door waiting. The only issue is there is a horde of entities chasing you. Now, level run for your life actually got changed recently, but for the purpose of this video, we'll be using the old classic version to send Billy to. So if Billy were to get sent here, he would start at the beginning of the hallway where everybody else does. He would have just a few seconds to look around, kind of get the lay of the land before there's entities that bust down the door behind him. The entity count changes depending on how many people get sent here. So it could be one or two, it could be four or five. It really just depends on how lucky Billy is. 
And so far, he's pretty lucky. I mean, he just beat level seven, so. So let's break down if Billy could run the miles and miles to the exit to escape these entity hordes and the dangerous level that he's in right now. The average 11 year old male can run at just about 6.5 meters a second which is about three and a half miles per hour. This hallway is several miles long, and the exit at the end of it is after all that, of course. So in order for Billy to make it to the exit, he would have to full out sprint constantly with no brakes and no calming down or anything in order to make it to the end. The average running speed for a 20 year old male like myself is exactly double that of Billy around six and a half to seven and a half miles per hour or 10 to 12 kilometers per hour. So it'd be much easier for an adult like myself or anybody that's older in decent shape to run the length of the hallway since their legs are longer and their endurance is better. One advantage that Billy does have though is that he would be able to crawl under and around the obstacles here and kind of like slide under them and move around them faster. This level is full of beds and chairs and tables in the middle of the hallway so Billy himself could probably evade them better. Adults might have a little harder time getting around these objects since we're bigger than Billy would be. Anyway, the entities would definitely be faster than Billy, so in order for him to do it, he would have to bob and weave constantly to survive. So if somehow Billy makes it to the end of the level, it would be a miracle, because I do not think Billy could survive level run for your life. Unless the entities are running slower for some reason, or there's more objects in the way than usual that are kind of blocking them back for him. I think they would catch poor little Billy about halfway through. Now, if Billy had a scooter or something, or like a motorcycle, yeah, he can make it through. But he probably cannot do it with just his two feet. Rest in peace, Billy. Drop a like for him. And finally for this video, could Billy survive level you cheated? Now, I just went over level you cheated since it's got a new update and it's bigger and better than it used to be. So if you want to check that out, do it. But buckle up for this. Billy is about to have the worst time of his life. So you cheated to split into a bunch of different parts. Press start, the waiting room, the stage, game over, the maze, all of these areas is made up with level you cheated too. And then there's the actual level you cheated area. So Billy could easily survive the beginning of the level, which is the press start. It's just a room with an arcade machine. But after this is when the level would get really dangerous for Billy. The maze part is next, and this is a really terrifying expanse of small claustrophobic hallways with these weird entities running around trying to chase you. The goal of this maze is to get to the center of it, where a level exclusive entity known as the boss lives. Now this entity is very dangerous, and in order to make it out of the level, you have to kill the boss with materials that you find in the maze. Whether it's this piece of wood or metal or something, you gotta find it, put it together, and use it as a weapon to kill the boss. Now off the bat, Billy would be at a disadvantage with physical strength, since he's a kid. But kids are also smaller targets, so if Billy finds a good weapon in the maze and somehow makes it to the center, I think he could sneak up to the entity and kill it before it notices he's there. Especially if he's quiet, you know, if he's tiptoeing around and stuff, he might be able to sneak up. You have three chances to beat this maze before being sent to level game over. So I think Billy could probably do it at least one out of those three times to beat the maze part. Now, if somehow Billy cheated and was sent to the You Cheated halls, I don't think he would last very long. The You Cheated area is, of course, infested with entities, you know, shoulder to shoulder. It's this horrifying maze of awful entities, and they're just going to attack you. There's just too many things here. So I think for him to beat the level, he would have to succeed in killing the entity in the middle of the maze. There's literally no other option. He couldn't risk being sent to level you cheated or level game over. He would have to beat the maze level. And if he doesn't beat that maze and doesn't kill the entity or somehow cheats, that would probably be the end of poor Billy, since I don't think that he can make it out of level you cheated. So this one is more of a yes and a no situation, but let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's recap. I think Billy could survive level seven and maybe, maybe, maybe level you cheated, but he definitely cannot survive level run for your life. So like one and a half out of three levels for today, Billy survived one and a half times. That's not too bad. I've seen worse. Let me know in the comments what other levels I should send little old Billy to to test his survival skills and what other scenarios he should be in. I like this series a lot. Hope y'all do too. Thank you all for watching. Love each and every one of you. Check out my Twitter and Instagram below if you want to connect to me on any social medias. I post cool stuff on there sometimes. I don't know. If you want to see me over there, that's where I'm at. 
Also check out Toogly and Spoogly if you want more of me, I would appreciate that. I know that you guys like seeing reaction videos on Toogly, been doing some more of those, and some more video essay style stuff on Spoogly. Anyways, all that yammering out of the way, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Rest in peace, Billy.